I couldn't overestimate the value of the fish for musicianship and for the country as a whole. When you look at international opera stages, when you look at international concert stages, when you look at international orchestras, and when you see the amount of musicians that Ireland has produced, musicians that are doing extremely well, musicians that are in their own subtle way promoting this country. When you look at the stage of the National Concert Hall here in Dublin, seven nights a week they have performances on. The vast majority of those performances are by Irish musicians and singers, all of whom would have come through the Feshkiol. And without the Feshkiol for the last hundred plus years, Ireland would be a much poorer place. Growing up, the Fesh was, uh, it was a huge part of, of uh, our lives. And my parents, my mother as well, was a teacher, so she was always preparing her own students. So, yeah, it was a real, it was kind of the only test of how much progress you'd made. And, uh, and I think it's a pretty fair test as well for people. I think it usually gives people a pretty good idea as to whether they want to do it or not for a living, like after that. Our parents, they had been members in the early days of Fesh. Almost all the musicians here in Dublin and other places joined because it was an amazing uh, event, really. And it was, in fact, the voice for art music throughout the whole country. get a lot of butterflies and all that sort of stuff and then you come in and then you just lose them and then start playing the music and it's just really, really nice. We went to the open day in college, in the College of Music, DIT, when I was six and I walked up to a group of guitars playing it and just from then, yeah, I wanted to play the guitar. My mom's uh, a pianist, she plays the piano and um, she, uh, she won quite a few competitions. She actually went off to Chicago and won a major um, amateur competition and she got to play in Carnegie because of that, Carnegie Hall. I'd love to tour around the world and play in concert halls and play music in front of all those people. You're nervous, believe it or not. You're nervous for them because you, you do realise all that can go wrong with the best will in the world and all the practice in the world. It still can go wrong. So there is that element of nerves, which of course is good, it's great. And it's about performing, you see. Like, I'm long enough around to know the fesh isn't made up of winners. It's, it's the participation, they, 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 all the children that come in, it never ceases to amaze me. And the commitment from parents, that's a very serious thing that has to be stressed, the commitment from the parents bringing the children to the lessons on that.
so proud. Just just being here for starters and having a fantastic performance, but then to get a prize is just just above and beyond, you know, what I would have hoped for. So absolutely delighted. Jeremy and um, I entered the Fesh Kill competition and I really liked it and it was really fun. I like um, making up songs and playing them loudly and doing vibrato and making nice sounds. Oh, I think it's amazing. I mean, it's just, you know, the opportunity to come and perform um, at so many different instruments. It's, it's a huge part, it's a, it's a great memory to have, I think, as part of your childhood, so. Normally when I get a new piece, I, I normally just start off with the right hand first and then I start getting faster with it and then maybe the next day I start with the left hand and maybe the week after I start with both hands and then I get faster and faster. It's very like tense, like you're like you can feel the tension in the room, like with all the other players, like in the same room with you. Like everyone's trying to get first, like they're trying to get first place, and like it's difficult, yeah. They put an awful lot of work in and they worked on their repertoire and then they bring it to a competition to a high standard and it's always fantastic to get a, a good result so today we're super delighted yeah Well, the Fesh Kill means everything to me because this is my last year um, in school and so this is my last competition that I'll ever enter um, and it's the biggest so far so it's got a lot of sentimental value for me to be here. It's, it's very challenging, I think, for every choir teacher in the country to bring the girls to the standard that's required of these wonderful festivals. And it's the way to go, keep the standards up there and keep us all busy. But yes, it can be difficult and stressful, but girls seem to be able to take that from me as a choir director. ESB Fesh Kjol School Choir of the Year is awarded to Presentation Secondary yeah. School Cape Town. They learn so much more than just singing. They learn about teamwork and camaraderie and striving for perfection, dedication, and just then the ultimate joy that comes from that perfect performance. There's really nothing like it. Oh, 
opportunity that choir offers us to be in a composition like this it's very educational and cultural and it opens up like a whole new <laughs> a whole new other world for us that we wouldn't have you know entered had we not joined the choir in first year on my drive here today i was wondering how in the name of god my parents did it they had five children each of us did two instruments and we attended fashiony all over ireland but they were always precursors to actually performing at the Fesh Kjol in Dublin, because the Fesh Kjol in Dublin was always the big one, the one where you actually aimed to do your best and your best performance. The day of the Fesh Kjol was always special because we were made to feel special. We were brought to where the Fesh Kjol was on. After the performance, no matter how good or how bad we did, we were brought always for a treat. That was the pinnacle for us as very small children. But then as we grew up, the competition got more fierce. I've done four so far and um, I've done pretty well. I won um, the Junior Violin B this morning and uh, the Claude Biggs on piano solo and then with my friend Zoe Nagel on cello we won the, the, road, the road at Cockhill for a duo. Yeah, I love both instruments. Uh, to be honest, I don't have a clue which one I choose yet. I just try and keep on going as well as I can with both and see what happens. Well, the competition for which uh, Coach and Lucretia most kindly honoured me by presenting a cup in my name is for the Junior Concert Harp, which is actually, Concert Harp is my instrument now. So I'm associated with it and they very kindly did that. Well, it's marvellous. I mean, I was there today now and I heard four harp competitions. With that instrument, it's the numbers now. Now there are so many. It's a, a sort of unstoppable movement, really. I think the organization of the Fesh Kjol is greatly responsible for that because it's there, they are there to encourage. Everyone works to a performance. So if you don't have a, a kind of an upcoming looming performance, you don't put the work in. So you know if you have to perform and you know you have to perform in this venue and you know there's going to be an international adjudicator, you know, it pushes up your work and you know makes you move on in leaps and bounds. I think it's really important. It can be quite daunting actually and um, my first one I was very nervous um, but I gained a lot of experience in you know the following years that I did fashion but you really have to just kind of zone into your instrument and 
get into your own world and just imagine there's no one in the room. And that helps. So. Um, just to try to have a wide variety in <coughs> your playing. So I um, did an old piece from the rock era and then the more classical style and then a new contemporary piece, which was Chanson Donna Nui. And it just kind of demonstrates all the various techniques for harp, such as banging on the soundboard, using your nails, um, harmonics and glissandos. So it's a really enjoyable piece to play. I would say that it must have helped me prepare for a career in performance later on. It's forcing yourself to get up and perform. And yes, my career is very much about performance now. And I'm pleased to say that <laughs> it's, the performance doesn't have that competitive element. But always within myself, there's that competitive thing of, you know, can I play this better? So that, that's always there. I wanted to do this instrument because violin to me is too too like squeaky and bass double bass is too low but this has a nice deep tone which is in between so that's why I really love it. I think um, the Fesh really is it's a unique environment for a young person. There's no doubting that Without the fesh, the standard of classical music in this country wouldn't be as high as it is. My mother, Coy Clanagan Cooper, Coy Clanagan, as she was at the time, won the soprano, and the same year that my dad won the tenor. So I think they're the only couple that won uh, the soprano and the tenor uh, the same year. Am frisch geschnittenen Wanderstab, wenn ich in der Friede so durch wilde Ziehe Hügel auf und ab. Dann wie's vergleichen. It's, it's, it's absolutely delighted that she, there is a cup in her honour, there's a bursary as well, which uh, it's, it's terrific, it's a, it's a real incentive I think for aspiring uh, singers. It's, it's open to anyone of any voice, uh, male or female. It's, uh, it's something we always attend, it's something we were, were very, very proud of to have a competition in her name. Well, the one thing you have to be is a good sight reader <laughs> because you never know what's going to be given to you. Many a time I've been nervous going on, maybe something big to play that you maybe haven't had enough rehearsal, but you cannot show that to the competitor. They've got to know that you're going to be there and you're going to be safe and secure with them, that you won't let them down. And if they do anything wrong, your trick is to cover up. To me, it's a wonderful way to make music, to be playing for, for the voice. I just love the human voice and playing with, with the singers.
my whole family have been in the fetish for years and years and years. And you know, it's it's always like a thing on the calendar that we have. You know, you have to have it ready, and it's always can't go away from March because you have to be in the fetish. You know, have to be have ready, save all your school days for the fetish. But um, I mean, we always love coming. I think you are clever people. You already know who is the winner. It is St. Canis' Senior Orchestra, 90 points and first prize. set up the programme over 30 years ago and I was actually a member of the orchestra back then and um, I competed here myself as well and won many cups so it's lovely to be back conducting now myself. She got it a bit by default because I got sick a few years ago. She came home to mind mommy and then she took over the orchestra and now she won't give it back. A bit of young blood is very important <laughs> I find. <laughs> We extol the virtues of our poets and our writers and in future generations I have no doubt we're going to be extolling the virtues of musicians and we should be doing it now. We should be looking at the Irish musicians playing in Vienna, looking at the Irish music musicians playing in Berlin, playing in London, all over the States. They're there. We just don't know they're there. We don't put them all in a family tree and say these belong to us and these come from the Fresh Cure. As a person, music has brought me to places around the world. But all of it comes back down to the training and the hours of dedication that both my parents and my teachers put into me and me preparing primarily for the Fresh Cure. Thank you.